Perfect. Hello, everybody. Okay, this is um, something new that has been um, given to me, basically, from the company. They asked me if I would like to review it. So I am, because I do like light, light boxes. I found them very useful years ago. I mean, I must say I can draw a little bit now, especially faces. I have no problem doing faces. But, you know, like I haven't practiced flowers and birds and things like that, which I want to. So this is where something like this, for me, comes in handy. Anyway, it's, it is boxed really lovely. I've had to play, so mine's open, I'm afraid. But it's it's really packaged lovely inside. And it's only five mil thick. But I mean, I've, I've had my old light box is about, oh my gosh, about five inches <laughs> thick. And it's really heavy. You know, this is amazing, which you'll see. So I haven't put it back totally. You get every, you get your USB cable. Okay. And I will put all the links below. And I think they do like tablet, um, not tablets. Um, oh, what are they called? Oh, that's terrible. You know, where you draw with a pen. Those like, tablet things. So I've got my work that I'm going to play with in there. So I want to make that really. Because we'll have a bit of fun after I've done unboxing but the these are all on the edges okay but they're they're off now <laughs> i did um i did save some it's so bright too up to my old one my old, old one's quite yellow looking and some of them are really expensive because i looked a while ago and I thought, oh gosh no you know they're sort of like 80 pounds and I think my original one was. And you get all the instructions and everything. Okay. And like I said, it all comes packaged properly. And then you get this nice film over the top that, as you can see, it's a bit simple because I've already played. <laughs> but yours are all being nice and neat. And it's the USB cable, which is a shame it's over there because I've got to go across myself. So I might have to just sort that out i can turn it around can't i yeah so mine will be oh that's the right way actually here we go perfect so yeah usb cable that's nice and long too which is great i'll just make sure i get the end in properly all right that is there a little light comes on and sets in yeah okay i just sorted out me um plug so i started been bending over because it's above there so yeah that's all in there now okay and hopefully you can see i might all right the a3 size absolutely brilliant i actually thought i was only getting the a4 one so it's even better because I've got a lot of space there. Okay, and you just turn it on by touching it like that. It's, apparently it's got a memory that whatever, because if you hold it down, you can dull down if you need to. Yeah, and then you can dull back. You can put the brightness right up. Okay, and then you just press it and it goes off. And then apparently it has a memory and it'll go back to where it was when you turned it off yeah absolutely brilliant sorry and yours will come nice and shiny too that's a bit that's dust over it already <laughs> a bit of rubber that is because i rubbed out something right and i'll show you what i do which is in which is what how i learned to draw really right um, you, there's loads of places and loads of books. Wait a minute, I'll just turn this off because I'm just going to show you something. Right, there's these sort of books that you can buy. And a lot of these actually are, you know, not copyright free as such, but you can use them for your artwork and things like that. I, I just rip them out of here. Okay, it's um, some I've scanned in because what happens, it's so good, this light. So I'm wondering whether I, it will work if I actually um, turn the light down because I found that I was looking um, at the back one as well and then it gets a bit confusing. So I actually scanned some in, 
Okay, and then I printed them out. But this sort of books, I'm going to try that now, which will be great. Um, this sort of books like this as well, that have got nice drawings on, you know, that you can use. I mean, some of them are too big, you know, too big, but I'm sure you can buy A5 ones. These are great, some of these. It's lovely. I've got a few books of things like that. Yeah, so you, and you can look on the internet. There's places that you, you know, that you can download. I'll try and look for you and I'll put the links to maybe some sites where you can go and get some images and you can have a play. But I'm going to try to have a look at this and I haven't done this, so I'm not sure whether it works. I'll just get a piece of paper. Which will be interesting. And uh, this is... At the moment, this is um, about 160 GSM, but it's a really lovely smooth, it's for printing on. It's a really smooth, I really like it, and I thought I would try. I'm going to do a couple of things, a couple of experiments with, you know, say, doing a design and then and then um, covering it with like, um, it's like gesso, but it's for watercolour. So apparently you can watercolour over the top because this paper is going to need protection. You know, it's not good enough to do any mixed media on. Right, so okay, that's it. it's brightest. And you see when you go down, you can see both, both for the back and the front of that image, which is really annoying. So I'm just wondering. All right, I turned it off then. Right. Oh, nearly. That sort of dulls the back a bit. I might do a bit more. I might go up now and then I just lift off and then go down again. Yeah. It would I yeah, it's not gonna work that way. You can still it's it's just that powerful, you see. It you can see the image on the back. If this was thicker paper, you wouldn't be able to, but you can. So like I said, I printed some out. If they're colour that you've got, I would turn them all black and white. You don't have to. This one's um, like a nice bird. And I am going to play and just show you what I do. But that's the image I just printed out. Okay, it's not black and white, but it's, look, you can see that beautifully. Yeah, so easy to see. And I was doing it on my lap last night and I thought, oh, I just, just love it. And I remember because... I want to learn to draw birds and I find doing this and then painting them helps me actually sort of learn to draw them, you know, and that's exactly what I used to do with faces. So for people that, you know, can't draw and think, oh, no, that's it, I don't, you know, I can't, I can't do it. This might be a way forward for you to just have a play. And also, if you've done something and you really like the way it's been put together or anything like that, you copy it. You know, you can copy your own work and it will be exactly the same. You know, I know it might not be once you painted it, but the base will be exactly the same. So that's another good reason. Okay, so that's that. I'll just show you some flowers. I do them usually in a couple of sizes. I might print um, like two to a page and then I'll print four to a page just to get some, I mean, this is like grayscale. And I get loads of black ink left over on my printer. I don't know about you, but um, I never don't use it. Perfect, you can see it, okay? And you don't have to do it just like that. I'll show you how I work with these things, which will give you something nice to do. Okay, so what I do, Okay, so what I'm going to do is some like little journaling cards and I'm doing this out of some like quite thick sketch paper and I can still see them, the design behind it. So that's great. Um, I thought I'd do a couple of these to show you how you can incorporate it, you know, into your journals and things. So you just um, need to pick out some designs that you like and hopefully you can see this. It's just a lot I put the blind down in the window so I'm hoping yeah that it's all okay I mean you can stick these together if that's how you want to be but I I move mine around so I'm not worried about that but you can always just put a bit of tape on there um let's have a look yep I feel that's right I use a mechanical pencil okay
um, I I don't worry about doing slightly different shapes. I'm not um, a stickler for saying exactly, doing exactly what's underneath me like that, tracing. So it's not important. It's a flower and we can change the shape a little bit. So. I'm not even worried about doing any of those little dots or anything because I will do them after. And here I'll come in from there, yeah? And join it together. Like that. And the same here. And I will leave it as that really. And the rest you know, like these little things here, I would tend to do after anyway. So, there's no point in putting it in really. I'll just get that line going that way, yeah. Just a faint line, I don't want much there. So. Like that, and that's all there is to it. And then you can paint that and do what you want and which i will do for you screen to show you all right after i'll find one more well, another two more i'll do one on screen and then i'll do one off how about this one here that one's quite nice um i like them sort of off a bit if you know what i mean come down there so even though that stops there i will continue to the end I quite like that one. That's quite nice. Nice shape. Okay, that's it. Right, so I get some either gesso. I prefer the watercolour ground if I'm using uh, um, watercolour. Um, if I'm using gesso, I would um, gesso. If I use acrylic paint, then I would use gesso. So, but that's it. So we'll make some a couple of nice journaling cards. Oh, and here, right? Yeah, that's what I do. Sorry, where that sort of tends to lead nowhere. I'm going to put maybe. A little flower, I don't know. See if we can get one on, shall we? Might have to do that. So I join that up. Okay, I'll just take that little bit off of there. I'll move that around. I might just put one leaf there, not both of those. So come from here. Okay. And then we've got a leaf. 
so that's what I do I sort of build up you know with different things around you and you can carry on really if you wanted to you could put another one there if you wanted to but I don't I quite I quite like the way that's looking so that's fine okay right so I'll put all the put all this away and then I'll get back to you let's turn that off okay okay so I'm using this watercolor ground okay you're supposed to be able to put watercolors over the top um, I've only used this a couple of times um, I really liked it but it's new to me okay um, gesso is is good too all right just to protect everything um, but it just is usually better with acrylic on the top. But I still I still do it. You know, I still put watercolours on it. But, um, you know, I'm going to use this today because it is a new product to me as well. And I haven't used it very much. And I remember when I... Oh, I've had, I've had this about 12 months. And haven't got around to using it. So I thought today will be the day. And it dries clear. So I'm going to go over it and protect paper and I also like protecting it because I can rub it off if I don't like what I've done <laughs> it's not gritty this at all so I might actually gesso the back of this, this paper because you've got to remember this isn't watercolor paper this is oh, it's cartridge paper that's what it's called isn't it that's what people draw on and everything. Cat hair there. That's Tommy up here the other day, look. I'm leaving his mark behind <laughs> his hairs. Okay. So just do all three of those and I will do the back with gesso and then come back to you. Yep. Right, so I think it's all nice and dry now. And I've got uh, these watercolours today. I've had these a while, hardly use them. They are beautiful. Um, not the cheapest, I will say, but um, I think I had these like for a Christmas present or something like that. I'm going to struggle with space here, I will say, hopefully. What's that like? You might not be able to see the... Oh no, that's fine. That's not too bad at all. Um, a watercolour brush. Um, what I tend to do is do a sort of light wash over the back, uh, like the background, sort of missing bits are here, you know, but I'm not really worried about that either. So even if I get it on the flower, I don't really mind really. Um, I do want a sort of, oh, wait a minute, I don't think they've got the colour I like for the background. Hold on a minute, I'm going to get my crayon for that. I've got the Neo 2 crayons. Mess here. Look, there we go. I do like this one. As you can see, there's hardly anything of it. Um, yeah, they're called Neo Color Watercolor. Oh, sorry. I've used them before. Neo Color. Well, they're the watercolor ones, but they're Neo Color 2. Can't really see that. Oh, you might be able to see it a bit clearer there. There we go. Okay, they come in a nice tin and everything. They are expensive. I will say that was another gift, oh gosh, four years ago, I think. But maybe five, six, actually. It's one of the first purchases I had when I started doing mixed media. Um, but I really love it. Um, hopefully that's all right. So what I'm going to do for a minute is just do a bit on, a, on the glass mat there. Yeah. Because that's, they're quite concentrated. And I'm not sure exactly exactly how this is gonna react but I sort of want a bit of blue in the background not only blue though so I'm just gonna put a bit of that around and I'm gonna there's a bit of green here so that's quite watered down already so I'll put some of that in I'll spread all that out in a minute because we can use water now which 
try and sort of um, do it so that I don't use too much water, if you know what I mean. Right, see, so yeah, I can get that out of there. And I'm going to dry that off and then I'll drop a little bit more in. Sometimes this is these bits here where it's picked up a lot of the colour. It's not where I've missed putting the, the ground on. But see I don't I don't mind that either because that gives me a bit of texture on the background and I quite like that so Okay. So messy, doesn't it? <laughs> it comes to life after a bit. I because you can draw all these up and then you can sit in at night and play. That's what I do sometimes. Right. What I'm gonna do here now is do some pink. Okay, I've got some already mixed here. That's quite let's have a look how dark that is. That might be alright. I'm gonna I start off with light, so that's plenty of water on there. Yeah. And then I'll drop more in after. It's just a bit of a wash there. Try not to get that on there because it will bleed into that blue. So if it's still wet, you can dry it and then, then it won't. But. but I'm impatient. <laughs> and sometimes I just like to see what's happened or what happens so I'm just dropping a bit more just in, in here right I'll just show you something else it's brilliant with watercolours you can if you really don't like something before it's dry you know you can see pick that up yeah so i'm gonna just do a bit up there okay. and then drop in again I tell you what, I'm no artist where it comes to painting flowers. I've, I've hardly done any. The only ones I've done are from when I do faces. I like, I love drawing faces, but I learned that over like 12 months. I think I painted a face every day for 12 months. And now I'm quite confident in doing them. But as for, I used to add a few, say, flowers in the hair or something like that. So, right, what I'm doing, I'm just picking up a little bit just to make that a little bit different. And I'm going to dry that off. There. And then, again, just going to add a little bit more in that area here. Oh, 
was a fly. Go away, fly. Yeah, I've got the door open today. Okay, I like that. That's fine because Tammy draw the lines in and everything. That, that's great. Right, so I'm going to leave that alone. And then what I sometimes do is I'll get a stencil and stencil out some of the back with a wet wipe. It will work. So I want a geometric design because I like those in the background. I think these work better. So, you know, like here might be nice. I would take away a bit. Yeah, just in here. Um, I'm not worried about it going over there because we can fill in the stems and that in a minute. Let's have a look. Come on, do your bit. That should do something there. Oh, I hate flies. I've got to get my fly net up at the door. Because they're attracted to the tea stained papers, aren't they? <laughs> okay, see so if we can get something going on there. Yep. That will do something only very lightly, but again, it's it's created something a little bit different in the background there. there for a minute I'm just then um, just checking to see what happens and just water there same thing right let's leave that go okay that's great and then dry that off it's only very slight yeah it needs to be quite it needs to be quite dark really for this to really show but it it has happened yeah Okay, and now what I will do, I will get pens out, uh, watercolour pens or pencils, anything like that really is fine. I've got some cheap ones here, Artesia, Artesia is it? Do a really nice pack. That's quite interesting, those a while ago, but um, I've got all these and I just think I can't warrant getting more. I think what I need to do is that before we lose it, um, what should we use? So, let's have a look at this green. Oh, it's a bit bright, really. Um, I have a brown. These are really actually ancient old, too. 
I'm going to go for brown. maybe a bit bright so what I'll do is just oops, just put a bit in Now see, I really like this, where this is bleeding out. That's the sort of thing I like happening. And then I'll draw around that later on. And just, you know, make some interesting shapes. Okay. I like that, because time we draw around that, That'd be great. So what I might do, just add a little bit of brown in here.
will drop a bit more pink in. Yeah. Um, I quite like the way this is all working. Something going on. Yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of too much of a definite line. I'd rather I'd do that in black, you know, but I quite like those colours there. Settle a minute, and I'm going to find my black, black pen. I just think I want a bit more pink, but I want it more stronger here. Okay, right, leave that go for a minute, dry it off, and then we'll, we'll finish off, I think. So I'm holding it near me, just to see what's happening. Nice, fine black marker now. Okay, it's usually best, that, you know, to use a permanent pen. I can't find mine at the moment, so I'm just using this, but I won't be going over with it with any more water, so... I'll be fine with that. And then what I will do is sort of lightly, really, just, you know, where the detail is. Let's go around. A little bit more there. I mean, I find flowers quite challenging, really. And most of that is because of being a bit of a perfectionist. So that's where I find it hard. Because they're not perfect. <laughs> this is by far. <laughs> Sometimes I, I look at them and I'm like, really? <laughs> they think that looks like... But they're not, they're not supposed to look like real flowers, I don't think. <laughs> That's my excuse. <laughs> okay, and then put some detail in the leaf. A little bit. Sometimes you need to sort of like, just leave them alone as well. And then go back in a couple of days. You think, actually... That doesn't look as bad as what I thought it looked. I, um, I'm not going totally round perfect. I'm purposely doing that because I don't want it to look like that. But that's what I would have done years ago. Gone. Spent days getting my leaves right. <laughs> now it's like, no, it doesn't matter.
I think we've actually got some nests, nesting birds in our boxes. We've got about six boxes out there. But because of the seagulls around here, I think we don't get many nesting, but I think we've got some. I haven't looked, I don't look because I don't want to disturb them. It's been trying for a couple of years now to get some nesting. I love them when they're babies. They sit outside on the wall and they, <laughs> they come, they fly in sometimes. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. And then I will get my white pen. Add a bit of white somewhere. There we go, we've got one here. You know, like... Um, Signo. These are like the liquid ink ones. Permanent ink white is one of the best I've found. Signo. I just might not have any in there. <laughs> Typical. There, I think that will do. Okay, lovely. And I would frame that most probably. Let's say a little bit of ink. Oh, and I've backed it with a bit of scrapbooking paper. Okay. Like I said, you know, I am definitely no artist at all, but that to me looks okay. Yeah. And I think that would look nice in any journal. That's a little bit of original artwork. Okay. Yeah, and I'll go and do I'll I'll go and do the other two and finish off. Okay, very similar to what I've done here. And then come back and show you at the end. All right. But that's, that's the sort of thing that I do. 
yeah and what i'll do on the next one i might get it a little bit darker in the background see if i can get some more off because that was really nice that bit that's in there that, the pattern here yeah i like that okay right so they're all done now and i'm really happy with them so i just seen a bit of lace on the floor yep i really like them that was the one i showed you okay uh, oh i've got to ink around the edges of those that's that one there and that one there and i think they'll you know um look nice in journals um i've scanned these in um so i can print them out again because they, yeah it's my own artwork um i've got sorry this this is the journal that um i'm doing like on um, junk in the trunk if you know what i mean and it was uh just what can i say you know i haven't haven't finished it anymore i've just put it together okay so i mean like here that that would look lovely just there or like any of those actually that, i think that looks better because um there's blue and blue but any of those will go <laughs> yeah so but that one looks quite nice yeah, and in here, just this is all watercolours. I didn't use anything else on there at all. And the same with that one. And because I, like I said, I, I put the, the actual watercolour a little bit darker. Okay, so when I used the stencil, it was more visible. So that picked up really well. I like that. Yeah. And so that's how you can use a, one of the ways that you can use a light box in your journals, you know. But yeah, I like any of those there. So not sure because I'm not sure what's going to be here. You know, I know it's that colour at the moment. So I'm thinking, yeah, that looks better. But that is just, that's not going to stay. That might be covered. So, but yeah, these will be go, de going in here as, as the originals. And then I've got other ones. Yeah, there we go. So any of those will look nice, won't they? Again so i'm going to do some more on this definitely so that's coming up before i've got um something else to do so and it goes goes with all the artwork that i want to incorporate in this so that looks nice sort of there as well so that's bringing in those colors to there there's um a video on that one there's a video on all this because i haven't i haven't finished it yet so I haven't covered it or anything because I just, I want to see how, what happens inside before I do the cover, if you know what I mean. I just want to get a feel of it. So at the moment, I'm not sure. So sorry, I just found, found that hanging around the other day. So I might pop that in. <laughs> so when I find things now, I just pop them in. Uh, this is a real grungy, grungy, grungy journal, but more like a, that's an art journal, really. Okay, so well, thank you very much for watching. And like I said, um, all the links will be below on the light box. I didn't actually give you the dimensions, did I? But that, that will be on the link. It was A3, A3 to me. So um, there we go. And it's five mil in thickness. I might have said that actually. So, and that is, that's, it. that's all I've got on there. But it does tell you more on the listing i think it's an animal animal <laughs> amazon link so yeah but very pleased with that and very lightweight and actually quite reasonable for a light box okay well thank you very much everybody for watching and i'll speak to you all very soon Bye bye